whenever I post something on internet, especially on Facebook and YouTube about Quran and Islam, I get a lot of suggestions from my Muslim friends that I should learn Islam from Dr. Zakir Naik. Many people challenge me that I should debate Dr. Zakir Naik if I have guts. So suggestions and advices to learn from Dr. Zakir Naik and on the other hand, challenge to debate Dr. Zakir Naik. You know why? According to them, Dr. Za Dr. Zakir Naik is one of the best Islamic preacher who understands Islam and Quran better than anyone else, who has answered for all the Quranic challenges people would bring, who can explain Islam to anyone. He is the best guy who can talk about Islam and Quran. And that's a good suggestion I get. And when we talk about controversial chapters from the Quran, like Surah 9, and many people quote Surah 9 to tell that Islam preaches violence, Islam teaches violence. You know what Dr. Z Dr. Zakir Naik has to say on this? If anyone quotes out of context, it will sound absurd. But it is a quotation out of context. It's out of context. So you have to read in context. People quote out of context. So it seems that Dr. Zakir Naik knows the context of everything. Dr. Zakir Naik knows the context of Islam. Dr. Zakir Naik knows the context of the Quran. Though the Quran itself claims to be very clear and unambiguous, people still take things out of context. Wow, we have a wonderful preacher, wonderful orator who puts everything in context. Though it looks like Quran preaches and teaches violence from chapter 9, Dr. Zakir Naik clears the misunderstanding. He puts everything in context. Keeping this thing in mind, we are going to evaluate very important and crucial matter. I'm sure you heard about the Dhaka terrorist attack where Islamic militants killed some innocent people for not reciting the Quran. Let's see what the media has to say. Well, what we are seeing right now is a fresh twist being given uh, to the Dhaka uh, case. We are now told that the young men who attacked that cafe in Dhaka in Bangladesh were inspired by spiritual teacher uh, Zakir Nayak. Now, this uh, is a new information that is uh, coming by now. In this uh, fresh twist to the Dhaka attack, uh, uh, these uh, youths who attacked the cafe in a diplomatic area in Dhaka are believed to have been influenced by the teachings of Zakir Nayak. Uh, Zakir Nayak, do remember, is a controversial uh, Islamic speaker who has been banned in various nations, including, of course, uh, uh, Malaysia. Uh, the uh, investigating authorities in uh uh, in Dhaka, of course, are telling us now that these uh, young men who attacked that cafe are believed to have been influenced heavily uh, by various Islamic teachers, including, of course, uh, uh, Zakir uh, Nayak. Now, among the seven Bangladeshi uh, terrorists who brutally hacked innocents in a Dhaka cafe, two young men uh, are known to have followed the controversial Mumbai-based preacher Zakir Nayak and Bengaluru-based Islamic State propagandist Mehdi Masroor uh, Biswas. We're going to try and get uh, in touch with our correspondent uh, Tamal on the ground in Dhaka to try and figure out what the investigating agencies are being able to figure out as to who were the people who inspired these young men who mostly did come from very affluent families uh, to turn into to terrorists. Tamal is on the phone line. Tamal, new information coming in suggests that uh, some of these young boys who attacked that cafe were inspired, of course, by the very controversial uh, Zakir Nayak. We are deeply saddened by this. Innocent people got killed in the name of religion. Many of my Muslim friends condemn it. They stand against it. I stand against it. Everyone stands against, against it. But one of the important points that you have to note in this Bangladesh attack is one of the Islamic preacher from India where I live is involved. Just before this video clip, I was praising about him that Dr. Zakir Naik is known for clarifying all the misunderstandings about Islam and Quran. He seems to put everything in context. But here we see this terrorist Rohan Imtiaz who seem to have followed Dr. Zakir Naik and the intelligence bureau says that this terrorist was heavily influenced by Dr. Zakir Naik and his speeches and lectures. Last year on his Facebook, he quoted from one of the Dr. Zakir Naik's speech urging all Muslims to become terrorists. One thing I do not understand that Dr. Zakir Naik tries to clarify everything because according to Dr. Zakir Naik, people quote Quran out of context. So, he puts Quran in context. Now, how can his lecture and speeches, which is clear and unambiguous, can be taken out of context? 
and misunderstood. Now, when we talk about this guy quoting every Muslim to be a terrorist from Zakir Naik's speech, I'm sure what Dr. Zakir Naik is going to say. Dr. Zakir Naik is going to say that he misquoted him, he misunderstood him, he meant something else. I do not understand this logic because Dr. Zakir Naik is very clear about Islam. He puts everything in context. How can this clear guy can be taken out of context? And uh, NIA says that they are going to scan all the lectures and speeches of Dr. Zakir Naik to check whether Dr. Zakir Naik actually influenced, influenced these guys. And I predict the outcome. I'll tell you what is the outcome, outcome is going to be. If they happen to talk to, talk, to, talk to Dr. Zakir Naik, he's going to say that people have taken him out of context. And he has already clarified and gave his justification for using this statement that every Muslim should be a terrorist. Let's take a look, uh, let's take a look at, the, at his justification. Today, Muslims, they're labeled as terrorists. The basic and simple definition of terrorist is the person who causes terror. For example, if a criminal sees a policeman, he's terrified. So for the criminal, the policeman is a terrorist. <laughs> In this context, I say that every Muslim should be a terrorist. Whenever any criminal sees a Muslim, he should be terrified. Whenever any rapist sees a Muslim, he should be terrified. Whenever any robber sees a Muslim, he should be terrified. Whenever any anti-social element sees a Muslim, he should be terrified. That's what the Quran says in Surah Anfal, chapter number 8, verse number 60, that cause terror in the hearts of the anti-social elements. Those people who are killing wrong people, who are against humanity, Quran says, cause terror in their hearts. I know that commonly the word terrorist means terrorizing innocent human beings. In this context, no Muslim should ever terrorize any innocent human being. It is prohibited in Islam. I'm sad that people are clapping for him. He's giving a new meaning of terrorism altogether. Tell me, why would a thief look at the policeman and think that the policeman is a terrorist? And in this context, Dr. Zakir Naik says that every Muslim must be a terrorist. That whenever a criminal sees a Muslim, he should get terrified. Whenever a rapist sees a Muslim, he should get terrified. I'm asking why? Why would a rapist or a criminal just looking at the Muslim get terrified? If you're a normal Muslim, if you're a common man walking on the street, working, living with your family, why would the criminal and rapist would get terrified looking at you just because you're a Muslim? What kind of logic is this? I say they would not get terrified unless you are a militant, unless you hold weapon. And the sad part in this video clip to justify when he's caught red handed for that statement, he's trying to quote Quran and trying to prove that even the Quran is in line with what he's trying to say. He says that we will strike fear in those heart in those people who go against social elements. I'm sorry, my friends, he has quoted chapter eight, verse number 60, but it says the opposite of what he says. Let us read from the Quran and make ready against them all you can of power, including steeds of war to threaten the enemy of Allah and your enemy and others besides them whom you may not know, but whom Allah does know. And whatever you shall spend in the cause of Allah shall be repaid unto you and you shall not be treated unjustly. I'm sorry, my friends, what Dr. Zakir Naik wants to say is totally opposite of what we read in the Quran. And in fact, if you want me to read the chapter and the verses in context, it is talking about something else, not what Dr. Zakir Naik is trying to tell us on this video clip. Even when, when I read the 55th verse of the same chapter, it calls the unbelievers as worst of creation. I'm not passing any judgment that whether Dr. Zakir Naik should be banned, whether he has actually influenced those terrorists or not. But he has to justify why did he say that every Muslim must be a terrorist. His justification is wrong. His explanation and references are wrong. NIA is anyways scanning his lectures and speeches. But it's my humble request on behalf of everyone. Do not buy his lame explanations like this. He's going to caught everything wrong. He's going to blame others for misquoting him. But he's caught red handed. He's not able to explain what he meant when he said all Muslims should be a terrorist.